teacher and students, submit your stories about intercepted notes being passed in class? When I was teaching college classes, I caught two of the girls whispering, so I told them, if you're going to tell secrets, you need to share with the rest of the class. I taught preschool before this. She looked right at me, and said, without the slightest embarrassment, I was just telling her, that I think you have a cute butt. I was teaching a communications class, and we were discussing communications in the workplace, and I looked down at the textbook. After seeing what the next section was, I said okay, moving on to the next section, titled sexual harassment. Everyone roared with laughter. A couple weeks later, at a baseball game paid for by the school, she came on to me really hard, with my fiancé right there. I have a story which was kind of the opposite. When I was in college I was in a large math lecture hall two times a week, and me and my friends took to making paper planes, and throwing them down from the back of the theater. We did it often, and I'm sure we thought we were hilarious. Somehow nobody said a word except for the occasional snicker, and it went on like that, on and off for the semester. Then, on the last day I remember writing Happy Christmas Dr. Jones, on a plane, and throwing it down, seeing it land in front of the lecturer. He blew a fuse, and started shouting about how this had been going on all semester, and he thought it was a disgrace. Then he picked up the plane and read the message, got very embarrassed, and meekly said thank you. I still cringe to think of my childish actions, but it did give me that moment of connection with the lecturer, before failing his class. 11th grade physics class, I teach maths, but I was assigned to be present in the class for supervision, in that school, new teachers get to have a more experienced one in the classroom. I was standing at the back of the class, when I saw two kids passing around notes, and said you want to read, that out loud or maybe give it to me, I could use something to read, to help out the guy with not having to deal with it, and continue the lesson. That didn't happen though. The boys start laughing, which makes the class and me laugh as well, damn the infectious laughter lol. Instead of giving the paper straight to me, I didn't expect them to read it, the boy opens the note and takes a deep breath. He reads out loud, imagine everybody tied to the spring is a slice of ham. Everyone lost it, it was such a random thing to say, I believe the physics teacher still has that note. I'm the student in the story, not the teacher, yeah, I know but my current students all text or message on their laptops, rather than passing physical notes. In 7th grade science class my friend and I passed notes to each other through the guys sitting between us. Our teacher caught on of the boys with the note, but knew it wasn't him, because it had enough doodles of hard slash flowers on it. She opened it up, to read to the class, to catch whoever did write it. However, the note was written completely in Tolkien's elvish alphabet and she couldn't read a word. Most of the class knew, that it had to be me, and my friend Cause, were the only lot of nerds in the class, obsessed enough to teach ourselves the elvish alphabet, but thankfully no one ratted us out. We were hoping that writing notes in Elvish would keep the boys from reading about my friend's massive crush on one of them, but it ended up also saving us from getting in trouble. I don't know if this is the best, but it's pretty profound. I usually ignored note passing. If a student didn't want to pay attention, but wasn't bothering anyone else I was cool. In the age of cell phones notes were kind of outdated anyway. So I had this student who could do a rigami like a boss, and he was always making all kinds of animal figures and cool shapes that I would put on the cork board behind my desk. This one day he is getting his fold on, and is completely focused, and not paying attention. Before I know it, class is over, and it's on my desk. He stops on the way out of my class and says, you're gonna wanna read that. I read it, and he asking for lunch money cause his mom took off, and he was hungry. It hurts being a teacher some days. I was in 8th grade, and it was a hot sunny day in mid-May. I wrote it snowing on a piece of paper, and showed it to my friend sitting next to me, who immediately looked out the window. We both laughed, because obviously it wasn't snowing. Then he and I laughed, when I showed it to another student and they immediately looked out the window. And so on until most of the class is in on the joke, and watching as I show the piece of paper to the next unwitting fool. Almost every student knows what's going on, when my teacher sees that I'm showing this piece of paper to everyone, and making them laugh. 
She walks over to my desk, looks down at the piece of paper that says it's snowing, and instinctively looks out the window. The entire class bursts out in laughter. Had a science teacher who confiscated a note that this messed up boy had written to this girl who had just broken up with him. She read it aloud to the whole class. It was full of personal information and was very emotional. Everyone laughed at him and the boy was humiliated. That night he slit his wrists and died. The teacher was fired. Not intercepted but I found it after lab where two guys would always sit. Pretty sure they both wrote it because it was on the back of one of their lab sheets that they left behind. Person 1. Boobs. Person 2. Yeah I know. Such a simple exchange. Almost poetic really. In my freshman English class I dropped a few papers out of my notebook and the teacher caught me picking them up. Then she had me read my note aloud. Saying something like we don't pass notes in my class. If you can't say something out loud then it don't belong here. So I read my past note. English quiz 1. Hash 1. When Romeo. ETC. 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 She stopped me before I could do the answer. And I was like, are you sure you don't want me to read the answer? I got the full 10 points for it. TL. Doctor, I got detention. When I was 14, I was pretty horny. I guess like everyone else. I was messaging this girl online, and I was supposed to go over her house that week. Obviously sex was being talked about. While I was passing a note to one of my friends about being scared of the condom breaking, etc. I figured that was the last of that note until I got back from spring break. I was called to the guidance counselor. She said an anonymous teacher gave her the note. Turns out, the note fell out of the kid's backpack and was picked up by another student. That kid gave it to the teacher and she gave it to the counselor. Needless to say, there was an awkward sex talk with my sexy, fresh out of college, guidance counselor. You all know those sub teachers who pass around the attendance form instead of doing it themselves. I had one that did that, then saw the girl behind me pass it to me, and assumed it was a note. Read it out to the class. Aaron Aardvark, Betty Boop, ETC. Obviously fake names. Didn't believe me at first, came and took it saying I'll read it out then. Someone in my class had a cold and wiped their snot into a scrap piece of paper as they didn't have a tissue. They then scrunched it up and left it on the side of their desk. Teacher saw this, thought it was a note, and grabbed the paper, going through the usual fanfare of the importance not passing notes around. The look on her face when she opened it was priceless. My sister-in-law was in 7th grade and was passing notes with a friend. The particular knot she was writing one day explicitly called the teacher and asshole. When she was caught with the note, instead of reading it out loud, she ran to the restroom and flushed it down the toilet. This story is frequently shared at family get-togethers. Not me, but a friend of mine who taught 7th grade. He found a note and was about to read it to the class, but when he opened it, the note read, I want you to crack an egg in my ass and fuck me so hard it scrambles. He immediately put it in his locked desk drawer without reading it out loud, and it's now laminated and hung up on his fridge at home. In third grade, 1996, my class was performing a play. I had a total of two lines of dialogue, but I really wanted to get it right so I copied my lines from the textbook, folded it up, and stuck it in my pocket. The teacher only saw the last bit of this, but assumed I was sticking a note in my pocket, and told me to get up my front of the class and read it out loud. I recited my lines verbatim, and handed the note to the teacher. Without reading it, she assumed I was being a smartass, and sent me to the principal's office where I received recessed attention and a call to my parents. Not sure why I never asked anyone to read the note, but I didn't. The next day, when I arrived at school my teacher pulled me aside and told me that she had read the note, realized what it was and apologized profusely. She took me down to the office to call my parents and let me go out for two periods of recess. Props Mrs. W for the life lesson about humility and doing the right thing, I still remember. Teacher here. It's never a good idea to do this. Nothing written on that paper is a good outcome for anyone if read aloud, and by forcing them to read it, you send the message that you're willing to just stop having class if they make enough noise. You will very rarely have someone very old do this, or potentially a pussy 30-something with something to prove. 
by and large this is a movie trope that is not done. I've got a few, but the absolute best one was by a new student who didn't know my backstory with farting, and that particular class. Okay so I subbed in this long term position. My class was 5th graders. The grip of it was, one day I farted in front of them. I was at the board, and dropped a marker, when a spontaneous fart just ripped into existence. It was long, loud, and ended in a toot. I was mortified, the class was shocked and incredulous, but then they started laughing, and I started laughing, because what else can you do? It was funny, and we were all in hysterics for a while. Of course it became a funny thing, to tell any new kid, most of whom also thought it was funny, and liked that I was a good sport about it. Another new kid comes one day, is told the fart story and just scowled. No biggie, right? A week or so later I had to correct him over whatever. He was talking in class during a lesson or something, and he got upset when told to stop and said, Backquote I heard about you, you farter which simply made me say backquote so what, shhhh. So then he passed a note, making a big show, so I'd see it, I roll. Sometimes you can end a perceived beef a kid has with you, if you give them attention. So I grabbed the note and read it aloud. It said, backquote this bish booty stank lol I started laughing. And he started yelling about my fart, and another boy shouted back quote whose booty don't stank when they fart? OMG I lost it, the class lost it, we all just started cracking up again like on the day of the epic fart. A girl came to the front of the class to reenact it, she did my mannerisms and voice and facial expressions, it was glorious. I laughed until I cried, the kids too. The Grinch kid at the end gave in, and started laughing too, so it turned out well for everyone. He apologized also. I kept that note for a few years. Anytime I was having a bad day I'd read it and it always made me smile and laugh a bit. <laughs> Had some criminals in class and nowadays majority of them are in prison. Anyway, one day one of them passed note saying meet me with stuff at 8 or something along these lines to another one and teacher intercepted it. Not being the smartest girl, plus being new on school, she read it in front of the class and laughed at these guys. Same teacher was jumped by some strangers later that day, and got her nose broken. My 7th grade science teacher would always confiscate papers that people were writing during class and toss them in the trash can, when he felt that we should be listening to his lecture. I noticed the trend so one day, I started writing, and when he glanced at me, I turned the paper over, pretending that I was trying to cover it up. He came over and took the paper. I had written on a dear teacher, please throw this away over and over. He crumpled up the paper, pinched my nose to make me open my mouth, and pretended to shove the paper in my mouth. Edit, since most comments seem confused about the end where he tried to shove the paper in my mouth, let me clarify that he did it in a joking way. Everyone was laughing, especially when they found out what I written on the paper. He was actually a pretty cool, laid back teacher. I knew that he would be trapped between doing nothing, or following my command to throw it away, he escaped my trap by playfully shoving the paper in my mouth. He also grumbled I hate clever kids. Before going back to his lecture, 